Hi, this is Cameron from the QAV podcast again. I had a number of people ask me after my last video if I could do a video that showed a chart that was a little bit more complicated than the one I used last time. So the stock that we analyzed on the podcast this week was uh, this one, Corvest Limited. And I thought I would uh, maybe look at this because it is a little bit trickier. So this is uh, the Reuters site. I'll go to, of course, five year monthly. So look at that. It's a bit of a bit of a happy face, a scary monster happy face with lots of sharp, jagged teeth. <laughs> um, what I'll do is I'll take a screenshot of it. I found this is uh, sort of better than trying to use Reuters tools. Bring it up in uh, my little whatever this is, Mac screen grab tool. And then I can uh, draw some lines. So if we um, go back to the previous highs and we draw a line through this point here, come down, we can see that when the share price was coming down from about the beginning of 2015, it was heading down, it started to break through the uh, buy signal for the three point trend line around about here, sort of uh, first quarter 2017. So if we were looking at it, analyzing it back then, and it met all of the other metrics on Tony's checklist, that probably would have been when we would buy in. If we then uh, do another line to look at uh, the low points, I think we take this one here and we drag it through this one here. So that is uh, an indication of where the support line is for selling. If it dropped below, this is where we would sell it. If we were, if we were analyzing back in uh, sort of this time period here, we would be going back five years. So yeah, that's when you would have been buying it. But anyway, as it stands today, uh, this is, this is a, the, the, the downtrend line that would tell us when to sell. So if it falls below that line, that's when you would sell. And then what we talked about on the show this week is looking at its recent upturn. So if we take its uh, high points um, going through the last, uh, since its increase, uh, you know, through here, if we take it, well, there's the last few high points. I don't know, go back uh, through here when it started to tick up, I guess. Maybe even there, through there, uh, through there, this one here. See, so this is uh, where, above this, where it's picking back up again when it hits sort of this mark, is probably the three point trend line when we would have bought back in unless we'd been analyzing it back here, here, you know, if we'd analyzed it back around about this time frame and it and it made sense, uh, then everything above here in sort of June 2019, it was back into buy territory again. So this is a nice complicated one. Um, dropped down, came back up. Have a listen to the show, this week's uh, QAV Club episode, if you want to see how it came out in our analysis. But um, if you have any questions, uh, just uh, drop me a line or, or leave a comment here in the video.